Hey, what's going on? It's Matt Knife Junkie 13 bringing you guys another, in my opinion, video on the CT801 Rexford design in black wash from Zero Tolerance. I uh, showed this one a while ago, and I never got around to reviewing it. Oh man, Oop. buttery smooth, fires like lightning. This is a sweet knife. Um, if you've gotten to that stage where you are buying more expensive, and you've seen this, you've saw reviews on it, because there are tons out there, and you're like, man, I really like it, but I don't know, is it really worth it? Um, let's see, I have this here to show you, the 0561 in black wash. If you like this knife, you're going to absolutely love this knife. I love this knife. And I mean, this was one of those knives where, yeah, I remember like a while ago when it was just the 560 with the with the brown. It was a knife that I wanted and wanted and wanted and didn't think it was possible. Now I'm at the point where I can afford higher end knives, I guess you could say. Um, this knife is awesome. A little little heavy. Um, that doesn't bother me, as you guys know. I like bigger knives. Uh, weight doesn't bother me at all. This uh, is full titanium frame lock with a steel lock bar insert. It runs on the KVT ball bearings, which makes it extremely smooth and fire like lightning. It's an excellent knife. Um, tell you one thing, it's got a strong detent. Let's see. Sucks it right back in. To break that detent, you do gotta apply a little bit of pressure, and when you first get it, you're gonna be like, hee! Hee! <laughs> I mean, the first time I got it, I tried light switching it, and I was like, <laughs> I couldn't do it. Um, now it just it's perfect. It's still a little tough, uh, so it does take some getting used to, especially if you're used to the five uh, sixty or five six one, because um, that knife just, just tap it, and it you know it just kind of pops the detent, um, but. Once you get past that detent, it's buttery smooth. I got it to the point where it doesn't free drop on me and cut my fingers off because this knife is razor sharp. It uh, comes in LMAX, takes an excellent edge, as you can see. Takes a nice polish. Um, great knife. Let's see, I didn't really check the uh, size on this. It is, blade length is let's see, about a three, a little more than three and a half. Handle is about four and three, four and three quarters. Uh, just a, an awesome knife. A lot of fun. Um, and just really nice in hand. Uh, comfortable. It's got a, a deep carry pocket clip. And, I mean, I don't really have too many bad things to say about it. Uh, if you like the design, um, they have them all different now. They got the titanium, uh, straight straight up just titanium and, and satin. They have the black wash. They have the, I believe it's a DLC coated. Um, I like the black wash on the majority of the knives. I just really think it's a great look. Um takes wear really well so if you guys are thinking about this this is an excellent knife um, I carried this for a long time I just said in my other video that I switched off and went to the uh, CRKT my eraser for a while it's uh, but it was it was back and forth all the time excellent knife I recommend it to anyone that's thinking about it even for us lefties um, I mean, a lot of people say oh they have trouble the, their fingers on the lock bar I don't. I don't. I've never really had that problem. I mean, I'll just grip it like so. Uh, I don't see the issue. Um, righties, of course, you're not gonna have a problem. You know, your finger's not pressing on it; it's just real lightly hanging there. But excellent knife. I recommend it. Uh, you guys, got any questions, comments, concern? Leave them down below. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you soon. Smat Knife Junkie 13 signing out.